G'day guys, how you going? In this video, I'll give you my opinion riding the Yao Pukas DAC and the Smooth Star Philippe Toledo and what might be better suited for you depending on your riding style. Okay, I'll get straight to the point. If you want to do more tricks and maneuvers in parks and bowls, go for the smooth star for Deep Toledo. If you're more into surf style cruising, then go for the Yao Pukas Dark. For cruising and doing tricks on the streets, both boards are amazing, but I prefer Yao for being more stable and absorbing better the vibrations. As a beginner, Stacy prefers the Yao. Compared to Smooth Star, she finds the Yao has more rebound, and also the deep concave of Smooth Star makes the board too responsive for her. Having a longer wheelbase, the Yao Pukas Dark will go faster and will also be more stable at speed.
real difference comes when you ride in half pipes and bolts. The Yao Puka's dark feels very heavy and lacks concave. I definitely found it more challenging to the snaps and slides in the half pipe. There were a few occasions where my back foot slipped off the board when I was doing snaps. Compared to the Yao Pika's Dark, the Smooth Star 77 ventilator has a deep concave and you really feel your feet locked in. You feel more safe and secured and can focus more on doing the trip. Thanks so much for watching guys. Let me know if this video helped you decide between the Yao Pika's Dark or the Smooth Star 77. And please consider subscribing to help this channel grow. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.